How's it going guys? John here from The Killer Bits and today I thought I'd go through my top 5 picks from the Ludum Dare 40 competition or well the competition and jam and this time around the theme was the more you have the worse it gets and to kick things off we are bum bag banging yes this is coming to us from the team at sea dads now i've got the list of names here this is from jacob yannicka or jacob yannicka i don't know he's the dev behind paradigm which i did play earlier in the year which was a point and click adventure game with this very distinct, almost grotesque, but cartoony art style. So I think Jacob did all the art on this. We've got Dave Lloyd from Power Hoof, who did Crawl and a bunch of other games. Really talented dev team. I think they're Australian. Jonathan Murphy from Super High Games. And the voice artist, Adrian Vaughan. And in fitting with the theme of the more you have, the worse it gets... We are a wizard with a brand new bum bag, hence the name. And um, let's just say collecting compliments from folk in this town isn't really beneficial to our health. I'll let the uh, slightly odd looking wizard explain. Oi, oi. Heading to work. Geezers be staring green with envy over yours truly. Got me a new cod piece, a bum bag banger, turning heads like no other. The pack on my fanny drawn eyes like a well fit bird. Now I'm in trouble, head swelling, seeing double. Let me through, let me through. I can take a compliment or two, but this is ridiculous. I got less than minutes, and every second me ball sack rucksacks draw a mad crew. It's bad news for the ego of a wizard like me, bro. Let's go. So, sexy. We need to stop people complimenting us, essentially. Compliments increase our ego, and we are a wizard, so we're allowed to throw fireballs. So, yes, we need to just blast everyone, stop them actually saying anything to us. And, oh, no, don't crash into a car. Uh, kill fish people. So, it, it's got like an infinite runner f feel to it. So, we just need to keep going, keep blasting, and, and the controls are very, very simple. Along the line of, you know, every. Uh, Ludum Dare project. It is a very normally a very simple concept, just done really polished in what 72 hours normally. So, it, for this, it is just up and down on keyboard and space to fire, and we just need to keep going. As and you can see, our head is starting to swell a little. Uh, uh, you can see it also in the top right. It are uh, oh, oh no! Don't crash into the car. Oh, and now we start collecting an entourage. This is where things start getting a bit frantic. Oh no, our head is starting to swell. Oh dear, no, 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 don't, don't go fat. Don't go fat headed. Oh no, keep going. Go, 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 go. So this is where my concentration needs to increase. Oh no, 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 we missed completely. So it's not precise controls, but it's it's enough to actually keep going. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, our eyes are bulging. This is where things are going bad. Oh, God, my God. Oh, no. I think we're about to pop. Also, I like the the weird art in the background, this, the street, you know. We, we are in a wizard's town. So we've got moist towels, uh, sensual wand polishing, uh, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, bum bag banging. Very, very silly. Very, very simple, but done really, really well. Um... I, I, I did see tweets from Jacob saying he wants to expand on this kind of idea, or at least he's expanding on the art style. I think he's, I saw pictures or GIFs of, you know, it almost in like an isometric view. So I don't know whether they're, they're, they're going to do more with this project, but th this is fun, silly, and it kind of epitomizes Ludum Dare. Um, but moving on... So next up then we have got Hyper Diapers and this is coming to us from Gal Lahat and Gazeta. I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that. But this is essentially we have got a rather large or expanding family and we need to keep our babies safe. So this reminds me a little of the 3D Unity game. What was it? Um, Who's Your Daddy? where we were baby trying to kill ourselves and the, the second player, the dad, had to go around and try and, you know, lock them out of the cupboards and all that kind of thing. So similar kind of concept, but it's all this kind of 
pixel art. You, you'll be able to find out in a second. It's very, very point and clicky. So we are this happy couple about to sprog, I think. There we go. We've got a baby. And now there's our safe area. Anything blue, like the bin or the washing basket, or there's a bed up here, is a safe area. We can keep the baby safe there. But once he breaks out, he's 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 gonna move around and look. Oh, he's got a friend now. He's got a, a little baby brother. Where's he gone? He's he's climbing up here. Uh, no, stay away from the knives. Stay. So as you can see, you know, the uh, more and more babies appear. Yes, let's. So why? What's with the airbender tattoo on your head? You're rather happy. This is worrying. So eventually we get more and more and more and more. It's it's one of those we need to keep an eye on them because they may try and lock themselves in the cupboard or the oven or the fridge. So let's just keep them all stacked here. No, back in the back in the box for you. He's curious. Where is he going? No, he's running. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. He's in the oven. Get out the oven in there. Actually, you can go to bed. There we go. Keep you safe. Yeah, as you can see, now more and more rooms open up. There's more and more dangers. Actually, go in the bin. There you go. No, no, stay away from the cutlery. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, no, you're not allowed to in the freezer. No, no, get out the freezer. There you go. Right. Close the oven up. No, stay away from the porn on the computer. Uh, wait, what was that? No, get out the freezer. There you go. So you can see it is a constant management type thing. Put you in the bin. At least they're in the bin. If they're in the bin, they're safe. No, 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 no. There you go. No, get out of the oven. Oh, the, there's somebody in the freezer. Get in the bin. There you go. Oh, so somebody's going to be watching porn. No, get away from there. Yeah, there we go. Did we lose a baby? I think we maybe lost the kid. No, no, get out. There you go. Really? They are obsessed with getting in the freezer, aren't they? No, 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 no. Get out of there. So you can see it's frantic. No, get away. Get uh, freezer. That door, that bedroom door is, well, one of these doors are going to open up very soon. No! There we go. He's going to come out of the freezer in a minute. Let's, let's put you in bed. Uh, no, 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 out of the oven. Whew, that was quick, close. There you go. Let's put somebody in the corner. There you go. Somebody's in. Nobody. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, I, I, the con this is hard to commentate on because it's. Uh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Almost roasted baby. Let's let's put somebody in bed. No, what are you doing? What? Uh, there, there was somebody in the freezer. Uh, stay away from the computer. There you go. Oh, something opened up. This opened up. More doors. Oh, get, oh. No. Out, out, out of it. Go on, put you in the cupboard. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. It's this bloody oven. You think the parents would put a safety lock or something on it? Also, the computer's probably... Yep. Get out the computer. Away from the computer. No. So how many kids have we actually got now? No. Okay. The oven. Why is it always the oven? Go on. No, that washing machine's a hazard. I can already see that. Something's going to bad's going to happen there. Also, the computer's probably in the use. No, no, no. Where, where's my pointer? There, yeah. There you go. That's the oven, isn't it? No, 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 no. Oh, it's the washing machine. Get out the washing machine. What was that? What was that? What was it? Computer. Nope, get away, get away from the computer. We lost another baby. Where? I don't know. Did they go this... Where? I'm Just go in the cupboard. 
At least I, I know that's one person not doing any damage. No, I saw that. I saw that. Oh, we can put them in the crib. Let's put you in the bin. Stop looking up porn on the internet. You're too young for that sort of thing. Uh, what? No, no. Did we lose all our babies? I think that was it. What do we get up to? About 21? So yes, this is, uh, what was it? Hyper diapers. Um, after this, I really don't want to be a parent. <laughs> All I could say. So uh, this must be our highest score, 21. I think previously it must have been like, when I tested it was like 11. Uh, but yeah, you can see how frantic this gets because it, it's ever expanding. I wonder how far... Th okay, so we, the final room is the bathroom. As long as we can keep them... Keep an eye on them, but it's just, it moves so slowly. But I, I find this really cute. Uh, but yeah, it, this is one of uh, one of my big picks for the, the this. I would say this year's, but they have like three or four Ludum Dares each year, don't they? Get, get in the bin. There we go. At least you're in the bin. We know you're safe. Get in that bin. So yeah, if you want to check this out, as with all the games I'm picking out, uh, there is a link in the description. So I guess time to move on. Doors are opening. No, no, okay, moving on. Okay, so now we are doing a spot of shopping as I'll take you to Tomato Town. This is a first person, I say shopping simulator, but, um, it's not so much shopping because shopping implies we're going to pay for stuff. Yeah, so this one, as you can see, was to, to move. And this is coming from the team. I think these are Toronto developers. We've got Adam Gryu, David Zarr, Emma Burkett, and Mark Sparling. Yeah, if you could get like. So we need to collect watermelons and that canned like, food I mush. Don't need it, but I know someone who needs it. So that looks like a watermelon. Yes, we have big stretch arm, strong arms. We can go. We can literally reach across the store, it looks like. Well, not quite. Okay. Uh, we want canned food mush. Where's the cans? We've got donuts. Oh, that's a Coke. Sick day soup. No. Uh -uh. No. Right. Okay, then. Uh, that's still sick day soup. Where's the canned foods? Oh, oh, oh. Is this? That's food mush. There we go. All right. We've got another call. Carrots, um, carrots, more carrots, and potato and chips. I don't think I'm gonna be able to build well, they look like potato else. chips. Uh, and of course, uh, carrots uh, are at the uh, front uh, of the store, aren't they? <laughs> Why do they always put veg right at the front of a, a store? We need three more. Go on then. One more. Uh, oh, look, there we go. So it's very, very simple. Oh, energy bar, energy more. bars. Oh, there we go. Ding. Ding. Also, our friends keep talking to us on the phone. I, but though, I'm not sure they really are our friends, the way they treat us. You really need this stuff. Well, why didn't you pick it up yourself? Uh, popcorn and another watermelon. They, they, they're pouring vodka into this, aren't they? Hi, it's me again. I've got to listen to this call. So, there's a problem with the credit card we gave you. There's no money on it. So this is what I'm like saying, it's not so much shopping. Could you just leave without paying? That's called shoplifting. Really? You want me to leave without paying? Leave without paying. Well, how, where's the way out? Well, I can't go past the, the tills. Uh, well, the doors are closed. I can't get out. Steal as much as you can. Um... Oh no, is that a security over there? Yeah. Oh, I saw a security guard. Let's avoid security guards. Oh no, we got caught. Oh well, let's have another crack at this because this is very, very silly, but I kind of appreciate that. Tomatoes. Cereal? Where's cereal? Uh, I think the tomatoes are cereal. And then we've got shredded cheese. What else? What more? You want soup? Cupboards are looking pretty empty. Uh, 
Sick day soup. Uh, canned food mush, which we saw was all the way around here. Also, we're very, very short, it looks like, compared to everyone else. We're kind of like belly button level. Uh, food mush, yeah. And water. Water comes in a can, apparently. What else do you want? Lemon, lime, lemon, lime. Oranges and gummies. All part of a healthy, balanced um, diet. Not much food at home. All we got is a bottle of ketchup. So apparently all they've got is a bottle of ketchup. You got some more stuff. They want oranges as well to go with this lot. Orange. Uh, orange. Uh, gummies. And a lettuce, please. At least we're getting their greens. More gummies. You really like these gummy bears, don't you? Come on. More gummies. And another watermelon, really. Let's reach reach across the store. I want I want to see how far can I reach. That orange over there. Well, I can get that can. My, with my big stretch arm, strong arms. Surely we should just stay at the door and just get everything out of reach. Yeah, we know what you're planning. There's a problem with the credit card we gave you. Where's the security? Let's keep a bead on the security. Could you just leave without paying? Not particularly. The doors are closed. Okay, we need to steal everything. So, uh, anyway, watch out for the security, because the more you have, the worse it'll get. Okay, the more we have, the worse it gets. Where is security? Okay. Where's security? Let's just get lots of fruit, it's right at the front here. And let's boot it out, there we go. We got 400 quid's worth, well, $400 worth of, uh, goods. See, this is what I said. We could just stand at the door and shove our hand all the way through. Anyway, if this little bit of larceny is too much for you, maybe we should move on to something a little gentler. But um, usually we have really long arms again. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so here we go. Next up, we are making goblins to go. And this is coming to us from, as you can see there, Tom Vian, Adam Vian, and Catherine Unger. Now, these are actually the devs behind Snipper Clips, which was one of the Nintendo Switch release titles, the launch titles. I think every everyone brought Zelda with it, and people go, well, there isn't a lot else to choose from. There was the uh, weird motion control one, which should have been bundled. But this was the other one people actually said is really good. Snipper Clips people really liked, and this is the same devs. And this, we play as a witch, well, we play as this girl here, use potions to make goblins which match orders. So we are making goblins, well, customizable goblins, and you'll see what I mean. So we need to pick up these guys, put them in the uh, cauldron, and they need to kind of match this. So they normally look like this. So we've got the square body. They're kind of smiley. We could put maybe a drop of square in and they want reasonably long arms so we're gonna have to put stretchy arms in reasonably stretchy arms say that much but they're they can't be skinny arms they need to be a little bit buff not too buff though uh we just have a splash of long legs not too much and that's about it so let's see that's a 73% match. Not bad. So what's next? You want... Ooh, you want slightly bigger. It's still square. So I think we're going to have to make you both broad. And head in the clouds, which makes you tall. Which should make you bigger. But you're very grumpy. So we're going to put some grumpy juice in. You're quite grumpy. Okay. Longer legs. Not too long, though, but they need to be quite hench. Hench haunches. But again, not, you know, super hench. And we'll we'll do a little bit of stretchy arms. One. So this is all mouse-driven, and as you can see, it's actually playing in the... What do you mean? This 
it was a pretty good match. Okay, you're quite tall. Okay. We'll put a bit... Oh, and very, very stretchy arms. Well, we must have put the entire lot in. There you go. Uh, legs should be all right, but they need to be a bit kind of more haunch. There you go. And we'll, we'll stretch out the mouth. There we go. Like so. 71. I, I've never had anything bigger than 70, I don't think. Oh, very, very grumpy. Okay, very grumpy. Uh, quite tall legs. There you go. Long legs. But they need to be buff. Let's make it buff. All that. That may have been a bit too buff. And a little bit of stretch there as well. How good's this? 80! There we go. We did actually get an 80. That was pretty damn good. All right. That's a big cube, right? We're going to have to go bigger. So, like, half of that and half of that. So, this could... You could just play endlessly. Uh, we're going to need to make those arms stretchy. But quite buff. Come on, big, big buff boy. And long legs. I'll do. How do we do? Uh, but I think we made may have gone a bit too buff on him. What do you reckon? So you get the idea. This is just like I said, just endless, and it is, is incredibly cute. Uh, plays in Flash on your browser. So, like with all the games, any anyone can play it. Um, though Chrome. For some reason, doesn't really like Flash, does it? So you may have to put it on Firefox or something like that. A bit more buff, a bit more buff. A uh, bit of long arm. Oh, he needs to be grumpy as well, doesn't he? Grumps. There you go, grumps. And we'll put a splash of hench in. There you go. How do we do? 81! All right, okay, we'll leave it there. Whee! Okay, time for our last game. And here we are with our final pick. And this is, as it says there, Orbit. Though we may have to use, move the O. So yes, we play as a little happy green sun, I think. I think these, these orbiting objects are clustered as planets. So we're not a planet ourselves and these aren't moons. But yes, this is coming to us from Chewism. Uh, Stephen Tu, uh, who uh, I think his company is 2 Plus Games. And it's as simple as we need to get these planets to orbit us. And when I say planets, yes, we do get more and more. So as you can see there, very simple instructions. Right click, we can speed up time, though it is buggy. We can break the time space continuum. If we press too hot long, oh, there you go. You saw it kind of glitch. So we need to get these guys to get into a stable orbit. So we need to get two guys into a stable orbit. And it starts off reasonably simply, you know, only a couple of planets, fairly easy to control. Let's just speed up time, get them to orbit closer and closer. Whoa, there you go. Also, different planets have different speeds about them. I think the smaller planets are faster. Let's get, bring you out. I want, it, want, want nice wide orbits. Come on. Come on, wide orbit. Come on. Give me a wide orbit. There we go. There you go. No, you're going to come into the middle. Let's speed up time. There we go. You saw a little tick. So if you move the planet, uh, move this the orby, it will reset. So there we go. One. Our outer planet should. There we go. Two. And our really far out there planet should. Ding. There we go. Three. So I think the, the most I've managed is, oh no, seven. Uh, 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 no, and if they crash into you, you've got three lives. If you have three crashes, then we go supernova. But this is one of those very, very simple ones that's incredibly addictive. So let's encourage this one across. Um, but this is why I like checking out uh, the... Ludum Dare projects because they are always taking a, a, you know 
a very simple theme. Like I said, this time it was the more you have, the worse it gets. And as you saw, with more and more planets orbiting us, it gets a little frantic. Let's see if we can get them all orbiting the same direction. There we go. Bring you down. There we go. Over here. There we go. Right. So they're, now they're all orbiting in a clockwise fashion. Good. Can I get you going in a wider orbit? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Wider orbit. With the smaller planets, it's difficult to get the wider orbit. But we've established it. You're going to come into the middle, but you should be a little wider than you were. Yep, yeah, there we go. So we've got one. And our big one right on the outside is is taking light years to orbit us, but at least we know he's not going to crash into us anytime soon. Oh, we'll get ready for another one. There we go. Right. Oh, ooh, I said about he's not going to crash into us anytime soon. Uh. One. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We may have cocked this one up royally. There we go. Right, let's get them all on the same path. There we go. They're all going clockwise now. Good. There we go. Right, let's get in back into this middle. And just let them do their thing. And now I can do the sign out. There we go. One's orbited. Two. And our big yellow one should ding. There we go. All right. Ready for the next one. There we go. Come on. Come around. There we go. Oh, oh you're coming a little close. So this is... You know, quite zen-like and calming in one hand, but when things, you know, when one planet goes slightly out of alignment, then things get frantic and you're going to start going supernova. Ow! He was a little too fat for me. There we go. Let's see if we can bring them all round. There we go. That's it. Join the party. Ooh. There we go. Let's see if we can speed up time. There we go. Break the time space continuum. So we're up to f five or six. Okay, right. Oh, no, 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 no. Everyone, everyone on the same pattern. Oh, no. One, one's gone astray. Oh, God. This is where things got start going. Oh, no. Oh, no. Quick, dodge out of the way. Dodge out of the way. Uh, uh, okay. Everyone is more or less... No, 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 no. You've gone rogue. You've gone rogue. Uh, uh, uh. So, yeah. This is where commentary goes off the... Uh, oh, it's just this one slow-moving pink one. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. I want you to start moving. Ow, ow. Okay. I think it might be all over for me. Ooh. We've got one more hit in us before we go supernova. Okay. Well, this has been my... Uh, top five picks of Ludum Dari 40. Uh, let me know if you've enjoyed this little format. I mean, I did try maybe doing this as quick bits, but because YouTube doesn't like short videos now, or, you know, it doesn't prioritize it because of weird watch time algorithms and just YouTube being broken in as usual, um, I, I thought I'd try something a little different. Uh, so let me know if you've been playing any of the uh ld40 games if you've picked out anything else i can maybe check out i can maybe check it here or on the stream over at twitch and you can always let me know in the comments below or on any of the socials over at the killer bits all right hopefully you've enjoyed your time with us and stick around you know stay in orbit of us you know okay one's going one way one's going the other this is where things don't, they don't crash into each other. Just me. It's just my magnetic personality. I don't know. All right. Until next time, folks. Bye.